Local restaurant, Il Pasto Restaurante and Pizzeria, is celebrating the community's support for its overwhelming patronage in its first few weeks of operation. Casey McKinnon joins us from South Park with a look at the cuisine. Oh, Casey, take it away, please. Hey, Casey. All right, Paul and Lauren, before you go away, do you remember Mauricio's and Encinitas that put up the hard fight to stay open during COVID? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Okay, well, they did a really good job doing that, and Mauricio has opened up Il Pasto here in South Park. Congratulations. So they have another location, and congratulations to them. It looks great. The food looks amazing when you look at it online. And the chef's not cooking yet because the chef's joining us, first of all. Mauricio, good morning. Good morning to you, Casey. Tell us about Il Pasto, why you mm -hmm. decided to open up another location here in South Park. Very easy. My chef and my partner, Fabio, that we are all the crew that we opened up in Maurizio together a while back ago. And when they found out there was opportunity, you know, they were excited because they know all the neighbors in the area. They're re Besides the neighbors, they are so cool. They are very cool. They show us how cool they are because when we opened up the grand opening, it was on the 15th of last month. You know, when the grand opening was, a lot of people, they came in, and uh, we had a little issue here and there, uh, but uh, I went to talk to all the customers they had dinner at that time. They were amazing. They were so amazing. And you put up the hard fight during COVID times. I know KUSI's Dan Plant has interviewed you many a times alongside Michael Curran. So what does it mean to you to grow your business? Well, it means a lot, especially for... Uh, for our employees as well, they get a much more opportunity to consider that after the COVID, a lot of people, they were left out. So we give, them, uh, we give to them and to our family. And like, more important, like I say, we are just be happy to be in the business and give the opportunity not only to us, but also to our employees as well. And Antonio, tell us about yourself and where you're from. Of course. Good morning, everyone. My name is Antonio Papagallo. I'm from Naples. And I've seen, been chef since when I was 16 years old. I graduated myself in Naples. I got my diploma and started working on in the kitchen like chef. So we're about this location. When we got this opportunity, I told my partner, guys, this is it. Because I was working in this area uh, since 2014, and I know how supportive I can this, this community. So when we see this opportunity, I say, we need to get it. What's the best thing on the menu? Oh, seafood. I can tell the seafood, we have a lot of many seafood dishes, and this is as my, where I come from, Naples, it's all about seafood. So my best suggestion when people come, I say, guys, go with the linguine, fruity di mare, it's with clams, mussels, shrimp, with the fresh cherry tomato, or the linguine clams. And uh, also we have the chopino, is another best item. I thought you were going to say the pizza because you have a top of the line pizza oven in this place. It's, it's pizza, of course, but you know, my favorite is always seafood. But be after that, pizza because Napolitan is pizza. <laughs> pizza oh. and seafood. I love it. I love it. Well, you really can't go wrong, Vince. I know you have been very busy. I've seen the social media posts. So, should people that are watching at home right now that want to come try some really good Italian food make a reservation before they come? They should absolutely make a reservation. Uh, we've been, I mean, weekends we're selling out. It's been crazy seeing the whole community come and, and show so much love for the good food and the good people. It's been absolutely amazing turnout. So well, make food, a reservation. Yes, Sorry. make a reservation. All the food looks amazing. And come support local business owners that are bringing you some of the best Italian food in town right here at Il Pasto in South Park. I'll send things back to you. What makes a top-of-the-line pizza oven? Why is it so special? Okay, well, they said the name of the pizza oven, and I'm not going to repeat it. I'm going to let them say the name of the pizza oven. What makes the top-of-the-line pizza oven? It's, it's a Stefano Ferrari. It's okay. the top of the line on the pizza oven. Like everybody in Naples, when you open a pizza, this is, this is the guy's what you want to buy the oven. Why is it so it's good? the one everybody wants, and they have it here. Why is it so good? Well, the material is, is, is top of the line. Like there is the brand stone. It's coming from the city where we are in Naples, and it's working amazing. 
You know, I think Paul Rudy is asking these questions because he wants to see what the pizza looks like when it comes out of the oven. Yeah. Well, the pizza, you know, we do Napolitan style. So this uh, type of oven is help us to have a very nice uh, soft pizza, mm. and but it's no humid. It's always crispy. Oh. So this is the good texture that you can have it here. The best way is you're going to come and try it. That's all the best. <laughs> okay. Come over, try it, and then you want to see your opinion about it. That's why. Right. Well, I can't wait to try it. Hopefully, you can put your chef hat on and make us a pizza. Of course. <laughs> okay. Well. We also want to thank you, Casey. We also let me thank also besides the Vince, the marketing department, the community, my chef and Fabio that is not here. I hope because Fabio is the other partner that is busy and do something else. Something else. We also want to thank the um, family of. Uh, um, Tammy and David Mirabella family, they help us big time to open up the operation with us. So, very important for me to tell you to say so. so. Perfect. Well, congratulations to all of you. Thank you. We're going to we're gonna so have much. another segment, you. so you're not getting rid of me just yet. Paul and Lauren, uh, I'll send things back to you. Thank you to the Mirabellas <laughs> for making it all possible. Yeah, looks uh, beautiful too. All right, thanks, Casey.